In this video, I just want to show you how to use this private label rights WordPress plugin that you have invested in. So uh, what you're going to get when you download this file uh, onto your computer, it's going to come to you in a zip file. Uh, what you're going to want to do at first, if you want to brand it, um, you're going to want to extract it from the folder. Now, if you don't want to brand it, that is completely fine. Um, you don't have to brand it, but if you want to brand it uh, so it has your domain and such, so it shows up uh, inside the plugin list with your domain and everything, you're going to want to make sure that you brand it. So what you want to do is just extract it. Um, on a Mac, you know, you can double click it, it will extract. On a PC, you can right click and choose extract all, or you could use your favorite unzipping program. Uh, once you get it unzipped, it's going to come out in an index.php file. Very simple plugin, there's only one file needed. Um, as we talked about, it's a very simple plugin, but it's extremely powerful. So what you're going to do inside here is just open this up in your favorite text editor. So we're just going to open up uh, with text edit. That's a free program on the Mac. On a PC, you could use Notepad. So you're just going to want to open with a text editor. And what's going to happen here, it's going to open up uh, and it's just going to look like any other text editor. And you don't need to worry about anything below here. I know this looks like Greek to you. You know, it's going to look scary to some, uh, but it really isn't that bad. So what you're going to do here is uh, just plug in here developed by and the best recommendation is to put your domain name whether it's the domain you sold this from uh, domain that maybe leads to your squeeze page maybe your blog uh, whatever you want you can just put in there so let's just do this so we'll do your domain.com uh, plug in URL this is the link that people when they click on the, the link uh, that shows up inside WordPress and I'll show you what this looks like this would be the link that they would go to so we'll just do um, www. let's just say warriorforum.com this could be your site uh, plug in name if you decided to name it something different we're calling this uh, WP profitable post plugin uh, so you could call it um, you know WP um, you know monetizer if you wanted to there we go so WP monetizer you put in your link developed by your domain um, then you put in the author name so this would be uh, let's say your name is John Smith that would go there author uh, URL that would go here um, so again that could be your blog your domain whatever you want it to be um, if you want to have a specific domain for the plugin you can do that as well so I'm just choosing warrior form as an example it could be your blog your website whatever it is a link to your squeeze page whatever that's the beauty of having blogs as well or a plugin you know is that it enhances your ability to get traffic uh, for the long term so once you do those changes it's just gonna be up here at the top that's all you need to worry about you're just gonna hit file save and you're done okay so just close that out just to make sure the changes are there you could also after you close it reopen it uh, but you're going to see all the domain is there okay so the next very important step is you want to zip uh, unzip this plugin so we're going to go here and we're going to choose uh, compress to zip it up you could choose any other zipping program and I'm just gonna name this uh, what we call it we'll call us WP monetizer I'm just using that for an example here so there it is um, now what we're gonna do is just upload this plugin super simple process so you're gonna log into your WordPress administration this is just a sample WordPress site that I have up here you're gonna go to plugins inside of WordPress and again, that previous step is something you don't have to do if you don't want to. But if you choose, um, it can help you brand this plugin. So you'll see um, the plugin, we have it back here under a different name. Notice here it says paulcounts.com. Um, so that's where I was telling you to put you know, your domain right there. Um, visit plugin site. This is a link to you know maybe to like your support desk or people to get support. And then uh, where it goes to your name. So I, I chose John Smith there. That's going to be a link to your blog or website. Uh, just so you know that's how it's going to work out so it's going to help you build traffic in the long term so what I'm going to do here since we already have this we're going to just delete this um, plug in right now so I'm just going to go back here just delete it because I'm going to re-upload it uh, just so you can see how simple it is so it'll be just a moment so let's just deactivate that first there we go okay so I'm going to just delete it here And 
and there we go. So it's now deleted. So what we're going to do is go to plugins on the left side and we're going to select add new. So plugins, select add new and we're going to choose the upload feature right up here. So you've got search and upload. We're just going to upload it straight from our hard drive. Real simple. And again, if you made the changes and zipped those up, you can do that. Otherwise, you could just upload uh, straight up what you downloaded. That's completely fine as well. So again, I wanted to give you the opportunity to brand this as your own plugin since it does come with PLR. And I wanted to show you how simple uh, it really is to work with. So we're just going to go here and I'm just going to look for the plugin here. And there we have it. So we've got the edited version, WP Monetizer and we're going to just select install now it says plugin installed successfully let's activate the plugin so there we have it so you're going to see here WP monetizer is already activated that's what we renamed it and again I'm not sure if WP monetizer is already used so don't get offended if if it's already a brand name I'm just using that as an example um, developed by yourdomain.com you could put your name on there if you wanted I chose yourdomain.com just because it's gonna give people another link they can check out um, buy and then you could put a link I would recommend a link to like a squeeze page um, visit plugin site maybe a link to your support desk to your main blog uh, whatever it is either one of those options will work so that's how simple that is to rebrand this as your own now uh, to work with the plugin I'm gonna just show you uh, what it looks like so whatever you name the plugin this is what how your customers um, are going to find it it'll show up here it'll be called uh, profitable post or whatever you call it um, it would show up down here on the left hand side uh, so that's what we're going to do here is uh, come on in here and this is uh, really the area that you have to work with um, with this plugin. So um, what you see here when you come in is almost a blank canvas. The only difference is you've got this tag that says EM um, with a forward slash EM. All you have to do, which we already mentioned it right here, is please include your HTML JavaScript code between the EM and EM tags above. So that's all you have to do is just copy and paste your autoresponder code, uh, copy and paste your affiliate links. You can copy and paste your YouTube videos. You can embed them there. You can put whatever you want there. And what, again, this plugin does is it's going to automatically post uh, your content, whatever you put into this blank area between the EM tags, it will put that uh, into a nice uh, format for you. It'll put it you know, at the end of every single blog post. So that means instead of you having to go in at the end of every single blog post and put a link to your squeeze page, all you have to do is just edit this file once and it mass updates your site. You could even put Google AdSense back here as well So as another way to monetize things. So all I'm going to do here, I'm just going to copy and paste in my AWeber code. Now, uh, you'll probably notice here I've got this center tag. Um, you can just Google uh, just HTML uh, center tag if you want, just to, you know, for simplicity's sake. Uh, but a center tag basically just centers uh, things up for you in that area. So you can just do center, and it's real simple um, if you wanted to center things. Otherwise, don't worry about that. Um, so what I've done here, I've, right now, I've just got this set up. So all it has is just, um, you know, just my AWeber form. So you can see here, we'll just save changes. And it'll take just a moment here. So we're just going to open in a new tab here. And I want to show you what this will look like. So uh, this is one of my blog posts here. Email marketing is not dead. And if you scroll down here, uh, what you're going to see at the bottom is generate your first or next, you know, 1,000 online. This is my uh, opt-in form URL. Now, what you can do in addition, in addition to having your opt-in form here, you can put whatever you want. You could have banners, videos, banners on top of banners, AdSense, you know whatever kind of code you want to monetize this plugin you can have that all all there as well so um, what we're gonna do here is right um, after the AWeber form if you want to do another line you just do a carrot to the left and a BR space 
forward slash carrot to the right. And the carrot key, um, you know, that I call them little carrots, is uh, right next to the letter M, the one to the left, and right next to the question mark on your keyboard. And then, of course, the word BR. That just stands for a line break. That's going to make a line break so you can put in your next line of code. So I'm just going to do, as an example here, just to show you what you can do. Now, you can do whatever you want with this. I'm just going to embed a YouTube video here. Okay, so I'm just going to choose embed. I'm going to copy and paste that code here. And we're just going to jump right back over here. And I'm just going to paste that in there. And let's say, hey, I want to put something else in here. Just because I want to show you guys all the possibilities with this. We'll do that BR code again. You could always just copy that as well, um, that break tag. And we're going to just grab one of these banners. I just grabbed a random affiliate banner for a penny stock course, which has you know, really nothing to do with my blog, but I'm just using that as an example here for you. So let's just go here. Let's just find a good one. Uh, one of these will do. So we'll just grab that. Grab that code. And again, all you have to do is just paste it in. Hit Save Changes. And then all you're going to do is go to your blog, and I'm just going to click refresh, and you'll see here all that code that I just added here now shows up here below my blog post. So that means below every single blog post, I've got my opt-in form, this video, and this, um, you know, this banner right here. And this video will actually, you know, embed itself. It's an embeddable video, so it'll play right here. One monetization strategy that you may want to consider is, um, you know, you have like your opt-in form first, then you have a video uh, that people could watch if they wanted to. Um, or, you know, a banner to your best-selling product, or maybe it's a video that reviews your best-selling product, and below that you have a banner for them to buy. Uh, the key thing is you don't want to give them too much action here. Uh, like in my case, on my blog, I'm just sticking with my opt-in form, but I like this because at any point, if I'm promoting a particular product, um, I can just come in here and boom, it's going to automatically update every single one of my blog posts. Uh, so it is very, very powerful um, as far as that goes. So you see there I've got my video playing right there you've got this you know banner here that goes with an affiliate link already and just to show you guys so you don't think I'm insane and this is just the basic WordPress theme I'm using here just for now I want to show you guys what this looks like on another blog post so here's another blog post free report make money online with your own affiliate program so I'm just gonna click on that we'll look at that post here it'll load up here in just a moment and again, boom, already loaded up right below the blog post. All that is there. So you see it there. Now watch what I'm going to do. I just decided, okay, I'm going to go just back to, you know, my Aweber form because that's important to me. So we're just going to simplify it. I'm just going to simply come in here, delete all that, hit save changes, come over here and hit refresh. And you'll notice it's going to make that change across every single blog post. So like right now, I have, you know, over 100 some blog posts on this blog. And so that means with just one change, I just updated every single blog post on there. I had this plugin created for myself just for this, you know, sort of simplicity. And, you know, decided, hey, I'm going to just, you know, turn around and allow others to profit with it as well. So you can sell this, you can use it. Uh, there's, you know, almost limitless ideas and options you can do with this plug and it's super simple um, and I hope uh, you guys understand how simple it is if you have any questions uh, do let us know um, but we hope you enjoy this plugin and hope you enjoy selling the plugin as well